Alright guys, I've got something special for you tonight. If you guys are movie fans, you may be familiar with the Brad Pitt movie, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. This movie came out in 2019, and the watch that he wore in the movie is a Citizen 8110A Chronograph Gold Bullhead. Now, I remember doing these watches for customers years ago, and I've done probably about five or six of them. When, when, before the movie, these watches were a couple hundred dollars, maybe, depending on the condition. But um, since the movie came out, they have got pretty expensive. A nice clean one will run you 800 to $1,200, depending on condition. And like I said, I've done a bunch of these for customers long before they were valuable. But this is one I just finished in my shop for a customer. Now this is not a full restoration. The cases was left original. Now the problem with these bullheads, these gold plated stuff, is that the plating wears off. The pushers especially since you're using them. So this guy um, supplied me with new pushers and a new bezel and crystal which I put in the watch. Um, basically what I did is a full overhaul of precision timing. All new gaskets. I restored the sub dial hands and the sweep. Those are in orange now. I pretty much got that color pretty much nailed down as far as getting it to look authentic. Um, this customer wanted black date wheels and I had one set of those which are pretty rare in bullheads and any other chronograph models. This is the model movement that I specialize in and um, it's my bread and butter watch. I specialize in vintage citizen chronographs and this is just one of the models that I do. You can see that the uh, the case is plated, but it has a stainless steel back. Pretty nice. Not really needed a whole lot. It still has the original crown on it. And the, the original finish on the case is still there. I didn't do anything. I did a light polish on it, but didn't get too crazy with it. I did reloom the hands and the hour markers so that they glow real nicely. Um... Other than that, you know, these are those kind of watches that, you know, any collector who collects certain watches is excited when a watch that they own or would like to own becomes famous in that way. And um, what I've always been curious about since I am the 8110A chronograph master, I always wondered what happened to the original watch that Brad wore. Was it his from his personal collection? Um, was it... You know, this is something that Quentin Tarantino picked for him. I mean, I don't know. Sometimes I think to myself that this stuff is not by accident. So I've always been curious where the original watch was, who has it, who owns it. Um, and if I ever get a phone call from actually Brad or Quentin saying, Hey, I saw you online. I saw you were the citizen guy and that uh, you do these watches and that maybe... Um, you'd like to do mine that would be a real treat someday if that ever happens although I doubt it but if I did ever get a chance to talk to Brad which I probably won't or Quentin I, I would ask him you know what made them choose this watch because it is from the 70s I believe this one dates if you look at the serial number in the back you're gonna see the first three numbers of the serial number 903 now the three designates the month the watch was made in March and the nine is designating 1979 so I'm not exactly sure at the moment when the watch was oh the watch was based or the the the, the movie was based in the 70s so this is 79 it's not 69 because these watches they didn't make the 8110A in 1969 so this watch is for sure a 79 and I believe Citizen did make these watches um, up until like 1980 so it was a real treat to have to be able to do it you know and uh, that's what's fun about this job is that I get a chance to work on all different kinds of watches but the 8110A for me is my bread and butter I've been working on these specifically for years and my name is out there you can just search me if you search Brian Lizer Citizen 8110A you'll find me all over the place but um I've done quite a few of these over the years. Probably the 8110A, the chronograph movement, which is in this model, it's a 23 joule automatic. Um, it has quick set day and date and a chronograph, or a 12 hour chronograph. And um, it's pretty cool. So, you know, they're, they're fun. 
and um, I'm pretty good at them. I've done probably 250 to 300 of these. Not this particular exact model, but many bullheads, but the movement itself. I stock a lot of parts. I, um, I'm pretty much known in the Citizen community. I'm on Instagram, and I do publish some Citizens once in a while. I'm actually going to publish some of these pictures of this watch. Um, and I usually don't make videos of um, watches, you know, once in a while I'll do it, but I'm going to actually do it a lot more since the channel is Watches and Wheels. So, you know, it's kind of fun, like I said. So I just wanted to show you guys this neat watch. And, um, you know, if you haven't um, subscribed to my channel, please do. And um, I'm just going to hopefully bring you more watches. Right now, we, me and Gail have been on this car stuff for a while. And uh, we haven't got, I haven't got really a chance to sit down and do some more watch stuff, but I plan on publishing a lot more watch content in the future. So if you like what you see, do us a big favor, hit that subscribe button, and uh, have a good night.